so I am I am up on a podium mm -hmm. or a I'm standing up on a stage mm -hmm. and there are people on the side of me like in chairs mm -hmm. and I am talking to a masses of people but I don't see their faces mm -hmm. so since you don't see their faces I want you to connect with them vibrationally they send a lot of love a lot of uh, it's a lot of heart connect with them mm -hmm. very good I am the person they look up to mm-hmm and as you're standing on this stage, you say that there are others on chairs around you. What do they look like? They look like... Uh, their heads are uh, kind of large with a thin neck. Mm -hmm. They're very, very tall with long arms. Mm -hmm. It looks like their arms have three or four fingers on their hands. Mm -hmm. They have big, wide eyes. And their head is kind of an egg shaped. Mm -hmm. A smaller mouth. Um, what color is their skin? They seem kind of gray or grayish blue, but a light grayish blue. Mm -hmm. I, I am, I look like them, but I am darker blue. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to focus on what you look like. Starting with your feet, take a look at your feet. What do their feet look like? It's hard to see what my feet look like because I have a long robe to mm -hmm. the floor, mm -hmm. a purple robe, and it's got a gold uh, sash down the middle, front middle, mm -hmm. and it's flowy, kind of silky purple. Mm -hmm. And my, I'm very, very tall, and my arms, uh, the sleeves of the robe are bell or like they flare like when I lift my arms they flare down but I don't lift my arms much mm -hmm. I just stand there with my arms beside me mm -hmm. what do your hand your fingers look like your hands um what? I have a thumb mm -hmm. and three fingers three fingers very good and they're long Mm -hmm. And they kind of have a rounded end to them, like a, not a suction, but a kind of a bulb, bulbous end to them, but very long. Mm -hmm. And is your face like theirs, the one sitting next to you? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Any hair? Uh, I have hair. It's a gold, I have a ponytail, a blonde ponytail at the top of my head mm -hmm. with a gold band around it. And I am Arcturian. Mm -hmm. Now, as you're standing there, what does this purple robe mean? Does it have significance? It is. It is the color of wisdom, mm -hmm. of royalty. Not royalty, because royalty denotes class, and we don't have class because um, everyone is equal and very loving and we take care of each other it's not like a hierarchy where royalty matters and the others do not it's not that way it's everybody is i am a leader mm -hmm. but a loved loving compassionate leader mm -hmm. so this talk today that you're doing to the masses i'd like for you to acclimate yourself more into that body and mind 
and I'd like for you to tell me what it is that you're saying to the masses. Connect yourself now and begin to speak. That I love all of you and I'm very proud of the community that we are and we are compassionate towards one another and we are kind and we are loving and we are taking care of each other and we can feel the love and the air and the love among the community and we are just taking care of each other and I am letting them know that I am pleased and loving them and sending love back and they are doing the same and that we are very gentle and kind and everything we do we take care of each other all of our choices all of our choices we think of about everybody with our choices and we live in a harmony. There's not discord where we are. It is just loving and giving. Very, very... Uh, fills your heart up. Mm -hmm. I'd like for I'm you very to, connected. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to fill your heart up now with all of that energy from all of those that love you so much. Feel that love coming from them. Fill it up with each breath that you take. Imagine it filling those lungs with love. I miss them. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit more. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to three, and I'm going to have you go forward in time. And I'd like for you to go to the place where you live. Taking a deep breath in now. One. Moving forward to the place where you live in that lifetime. Two. And three. Be there now. It feels very... Uh, it's bright and warm, but it feels like a... Like a capsule, a, um, a rounded house, mm -hmm. kind of like what you would see on the Jetsons, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not glassed in. It's kind of closed in. Mm -hmm. Is this capsule like on its side? How does it look? Or is it vertical? More vertical or horizontal? Um... It's more, uh, it's shaped like the selenite I'm holding. Mm -hmm. If I hold it sideways, it's mm -hmm. flatter. It's oblong around the sides, but it has a flatter, it's not as round, it's not round. It's a little bit more flatter. So how do you get inside of this place? There is a, um, a door it appears to be silver and it folds down like a um oh, I don't know how to explain that uh it lays open like you it, it opens from the top and lays down like an like you would think an old fashioned castle door came down but it's much more contemporary it's rounded like my house and it just comes down and you walk in mm -hmm. and it closes behind you look around the inside of this place what does it look like what's inside um you know, I can see out of it. Mm -hmm. um, 
How do you see out? Does it have windows or can you just see out? I can see out, but from the outside there's no windows, mm -hmm. but from the inside I can see out. Mm -hmm. And I see many more buildings like mine, mm -hmm. almost like they're on tall, um, uh, a pole or a, a, a one single like they're up in the air, they're, they're up in the air, but it has a pole coming down. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to explain, like the uh, chairs, it's a, they're, it's a long pole that at the ground it has a rounded base, mm -hmm. and it holds the pot on top. Very good. So it's kind of like I'm in a community, mm -hmm. and I can see the other houses. But I don't see how people get around. Now, as you walked in, you said you were very tall. Yes. How is the ceiling compared to how you are? As you it's a in? very big pot. It's, it's a very big, big, so I don't feel tall in here at all. Okay. Are there any? Is there any furniture in there? Any place? There, there is in a kind of a living room area, just a seating around. The um, it's kind of contemporary, just like a, a couch would be. A, um, let me think how I can explain it. <sighs> kind of like a sofa, like a modern day sofa, I guess. You know, like a pit sitting area, but it's just along the walls. Mm -hmm. I see that. Um, the pot is just lit. I don't see like lamps or lights that you turn on and off. It's just bright in there. All right. So now let's move forward and see if this is a lifetime in which you need to nourish this body. I'd like for you to just move forward in this lifetime to see if how it is that you receive nourishment in this body. See yourself there now. Uh, we get li liquid mm -hmm. out of a, um, our mouths are not really big, mm -hmm. but it feels like we get our nutrients from a liquid mm -hmm. that we just um, put up to our mouths. It's in a container and I guess kind of like suck it out like a straw, mm -hmm. just like that. But I don't see us chewing or eating. It's mm -hmm. just uh, liquid nourishment. Very good, very good. So let's now close this scene, and we're going to go to another scene in that same lifetime. I'm going to count from one to three, moving forward now. When I get to number three, I'll touch your forehead, and we'll be at that next scene. Taking a deep breath in, one, moving forward now, two, and three. Be there now. There. So we're in another pod, lighted area, uh, it's lit up, mm -hmm. and the people that were on the stage with me are sitting around a round table, and again they're the light grayish blue color, and in the center of the table it is, um, there's a round dome, mm -hmm. a round kind of like a ball, a sphere, and we're looking at it. And it represents the earth. Mm -hmm. And the people are telling me that we're looking with great sadness at the earth. And we look at them like they are children, like they are babies. And they are lost children. And it's decided that I need to go there to help teach them the compassion and the love that we have here, to look for one, look out for one another, to help soften their hearts. They are lost, they are quiet, they are not thinking for themselves. They are zombie-like. And so it's for me to go in to help open their hearts and help them see who they are and feel the compassion for each other, for one another. How do you feel about this decision? 
I'm happy to help them because I am loving and kind and compassionate and they need guidance. I'd like to ask a few questions about the progress that the soul has been going through, what she's been learning, how she's been using her skills and talents on this earth. For example, she has a question about her channeling and what should she do with it? What should she name it? It is not necessary to cha- to name the channeling. Mm-hmm. It is just necessary to get the words on paper. Mm-hmm. And we're going to guide her on her channeling. It will become a book. It will become a book for healers and seekers mm-hmm. because they need to hear these words. She has many, many words written down already. Mm-hmm. And so now recording them We'll get them out to the people that need to hear it. And the words will keep coming. And just continue to write them as they come through. Will she be also speaking these words? Eventually, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, eventually she will be able to let it flow through her Mm -hmm. because she knows these words. These words are open to all everyone, Mm -hmm. but she has decided to be a scriber and write them for people to see, Mm -hmm. people that don't know how to access it. She helps them hear the truth in the way that they need to hear the truth, Mm -hmm. in a frequency that they understand. And so that's what she has committed to doing, is to write the words as they come through. It's not necessary for her to wait for us to come to her. She can just access this and talk and have it come through her. Mm -hmm. But we are here to assist her at any time for these words to come through. Can you tell me who we are? Who are those that are assisting her? We are the collective conscious. We are the conscious that is known to everybody. We are the place where all knowledge is kept. Mm -hmm. Each person, each each individual comes through and has their experiences and it all goes into the collective Mm -hmm. knowledge and there is a place where all souls can access the collective knowledge to know the truth as they need the truth. Not all truth is available to them only as they need it, as it helps them in their journey on earth. Mm -hmm. As they need to hear the words, they will come to them. Now she tells me that she also is waking up at 3 o'clock very abruptly. Is she accessing some sort of information at that time? Is something happening at that time? Yes, she journeys all night. She journeys a lot. Many times she'll fall asleep during the day. Even while she's talking to someone, she just checks out and she goes and plays and journeys. There are many, many multitude facets of Laura. Mm -hmm. She's in many places, helping many people. It is her heart and her compassion to teach love and to help love. So she does this when she's sleeping. Mm The abruptness of coming back into her own body when she wakes up at three is because she has been infused with a lot of energy and this energy coming back into this body, she's trying to get used to that. The heat is related to the level of energy that she has coming back into her body. Mm -hmm. She's been infused with a lot of energy. She vibrates at a high frequency, but we want her to stay at this frequency. So the heat, the energy getting back in, the side effect is just the heat, Mm -hmm. and it's okay. She can handle it, it's fine. Will that subside after a while? As she gets used to it, yes, yes. Are there any other indications in her body that things are happening? 
that she's connecting with this vibration. Her heart is brighter. Mm-hmm. Her chakra is brighter. Mm-hmm. It's more open. Uh, she notices that people come around her a lot. They are attracted to her. Mm-hmm. They want to be by her. The babies come by her. Mm-hmm. The babies see her. It's what very is, cute how the babies see her. What is the connection that she has with these babies? When babies come into the earth, they are very wise. They just haven't learned how to function with their bodies. Mm-hmm. So they haven't learned the communication and they haven't learned how to move their bodies. So they are a soul inside of the bodies, but they are very, very aware and very intelligent. So when they see her, they know that she sees them. They know that she sees their soul and they can see her and they know that she can communicate with them. And it feels good for them to be able to communicate because they don't have their words yet and can't say what they need. Mm -hmm. And so she encourages them when she sees the babies that they're doing good and they're on a good path. And she sends them love and they feel that love. Mm -hmm. She was walking yesterday or walking earlier this week and a little girl just ran up from her mom and grabbed her hand and started walking with her because they know she can see them. Good. What about her nails? She says she has fungus on some fingernails on the right hand. What's causing that? What's the origin of that fungus? Is this a message from her body? Let's focus in on that fungus. Find out what that is. Is this something? that she created for a reason? It is a reminder for her to keep writing. Ah. So, why does she need to have the fungus? Because she was, she will not sit down and write. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so when she is in a pattern of writing, it will disseminate. Okay. So once she starts writing more, uh, more of this, uh, the, the channeling, it's yes. going to start going away. Yes, if she stays in the pattern of writing, okay. there is much to say, much to put out there. We need her to write. Mm-hmm. And when she's writing, should she also be reading these writings on YouTube, or should it stay in writing form? It is um, more powerful in the written verse. So by recording them and putting a transcript below, Mm -hmm. that could be helpful both ways. Okay. So make sure it's written. Yes. Okay, good. Let's ask, are we complete with this session? We would like to give you a message. Very good. As we watch your world, we see a slight shift happening towards compassion and love. And we are pleased. There are many, many, many beautiful light workers placed all around the world, connecting and holding space and affecting those around them without even knowing it. And when you are not in front of somebody, healing them and helping them one-on-one, know that you are holding that space while their vibrations are getting raised. And always remember to move in love and compassion 
lead with your heart. Open up your heart chakra. Green and bright and beautiful. And let that light shine on everyone you meet. They will feel it, even if you're not aware of it. And as you grow into healers and become healers, be aware to keep your ego out of the way. It's not about your ego. Your ego is contraindicating what you need to portray. Do not let it talk you out of what you're doing. Do not let it treat you unkind. Open your heart and come from a place of love and know that you are helping the person in front of you to clear their density so we have time and space to feel fill it with light. And not so much time. We know there's no time to fill their hearts with love. Clear their densities. And we will be with you and do the other part by filling them up. We are becoming more apparent healers, light workers on this earth. You are doing a wonderful job. Do not be dismayed. Do not be afraid to show who you are. Are we complete? Not yet. Mm-hmm. Go in love. Go in light, go in compassion. And we will transmute the dark energy. We are proud of the work. We are proud of your dedication. And we are here for the asking. When you are unsure, go into your heart space, go into that place of love and ask for our guidance and ask for our help and we will meet you in that place of love that's where we can meet and we can heal together there is much love here for you we are complete thank you very much <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Mm, let's switch these up. <sighs> Ground you now. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How long do you think this journey was today? Probably just like forty-five. Um, an hour and a half. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. You remember everything? I think I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I do. How does this differ from others that you've had? Each one is so unique. It is different. It is different. Mm -hmm. Because you feel like you know. You feel like you know what you're saying already. Yeah. Yeah. You just give yourself permission to say it. But it's interesting. It's very interesting. So you see that each one is totally unique. Each experience that you've had is unique. But I didn't put the pieces together with... um, that episode when I was a little girl with Isn't that, that being, I didn't put that together. Isn't that interesting? And huh? that felt very valid. Yeah. And then I could see that rejection, fear of all rejection, the all through my life and my family yeah. until finally I became an adult. And yeah, and so it just had still some of it hanging in there, you know? Yeah. And the more you put yourself out there, you'll realize there's no reason for you to even feel like that. Yeah, that's interesting. Amazing. (laughs) So do you want to keep this private or you want to share some of it? Uh, If there's some to share, we can share. Maybe the message would be nice. Yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. Laura? Yes. How'd it go for you? It was good. It was very uh, enlightening. Very, it, 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 
cleared me out a lot. Yeah. So I met Laura at a gathering first. Yes. And then we did the introspective hypnosis class. Mm -hmm. And you have been hypnotized quite a few times. Yes. Because it, when we have our class, we go through hypnosis a lot. So how was this one different from you? Because each time you get hypnotized, it's a little bit different. It is. It is. It, um, this one was really enjoyable. It was very safe and very... Well, they all feel safe. Mm -hmm. it, um, it was easy to go into, I think. Yeah. And um, I just... I just went with it without without whatever came to my mind. I just said it, and yeah. sometimes I'd go, "Okay, that was a little strange, but mm -hmm. okay." And, and that's then, the ego talking. Yeah, yeah. So that that I had to kind of still keep behind me, going, "No, let me just say what comes to my mind." <laughs> and so um, that was interesting, especially yeah. that octoring part. Yeah, I was like, "Okay, that sounds a little crazy, but okay." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in this video, there's going to be a lot edited out because. These sessions are personal, and um, Laura, you have been to the introspective hypnosis class, which you know is all about your personal stuff. Yes, yes. Yes. So what you see on my videos, usually posted, is not that personal because it's a different type of session. So today, we I actually went with you, um, I took you into the same method that we did in class. Yes. Did it seem... Yes, familiar? It, it did. It did. And one thing in my mind, I was like, oh, that was really cool the way she did that. And I was like, oh, <laughs> stop, Laura, stop. Go back where you need to be. <laughs> I was like, okay. And I did that on purpose to show people that I do do the techniques that I would do in class, but yeah. not everybody sees that. Yeah, so how did good. that feel? Uh, it felt great. It felt great. It felt nice and comfortable and yeah. um, relaxed and just um, things just kind of flowed and came out. So good. It was good. Now, Laura, in that class, we had a really interesting thing happen is that you were able to read some of your writings. Yes. And you do automatic writing. I do. Which is what I've been doing since like 1988. And um, it's when you channel, but you write down what comes through. And it was a beautiful uh, thing that came through. So how have you been Con continuing with your writings. Well, after the class, what happened at the hypnosis class was very interesting. I, um, we had a girl under hypnosis in front of the stage, and I just started shaking and quivering, and I didn't know what was going on. And and I had brought my journal with me, which I don't always carry it <laughs> with me, and I started writing, and it was coming through, and there was a message for the class. Mm -hmm. And um, so then I also was just shaking. I had gotten infused with a lot of energy which was really interesting and exciting mm -hmm. at the same time. But um, after the course, what I realized, I had a session with Antonio that um, my writing, it was time for my writing to start coming out, mm -hmm. that my message is for healers and light workers and seekers. Mm -hmm. And so um, I developed a YouTube channel called Waking to Wisdom. And I started recording some of my writings just with a photo in front of it and reading my writings. And I don't have, I have probably about five or six up there right now. And I'm trying to work on getting more out. I had a little learning curve on the YouTube channel. So uh, if you're interested, you can go take a look at it. It's called Waking to Wisdom. And mm -hmm. as I get messages, I record them and get them out. And I'm going to, um, I have a Facebook page as well mm -hmm. called Waking to Wisdom and um, they're still in the beginning stages but I'm going to uh, put the transcripts out there because I think the words are more powerful in the written mm -hmm. form so you could hear them or you could read them if you want to take a look at that. Right and uh, you also do hypnosis. I do, I do. So, I study introspective hypnosis. That's right. So how do they get a hold of you if they want a hypnosis session? Well, what? first of all, tell them where you, where you live. I live in uh, Louisiana, a town called Lafayette, Louisiana. And if you want an in, uh, introspective hypnosis uh, session with me, uh, right now, probably the best way is to go on my YouTube channel, Waking to Wisdom, mm -hmm. or my Facebook page, Waking to Wisdom, and they have an email address, and you can email me from there. That'd be great, wouldn't so, it? Yeah. Yeah, and, and you could probably talk a lot more about this with 
with each other and yes it's it's going to be wonderful the more we get people together uh the better it is and uh, when you go into hypnosis you you'll find a lot about yourself through through a session it really does it unlocks so much that you had no idea that this i was behaving like this because of this or i'm guarded mm -hmm. i'm really guarded because this this and this and you don't put the pieces together yeah. and when you can see the pieces and the hypnotist goes in there and and, and can help you change those patterns a yeah. little bit fix it. it it fixes it it does mm -hmm. it's really yeah. impressive yeah. you move around differently i i after my session with antonio i moved around very differently and um and i wasn't expecting to come in with alba and <laughs> that just happened as well uh, yeah. it, it, the the session came up and i and i I got one and I said, evidently, I need to be here <laughs> to finish clearing me. So yeah. I'm anxious to see how I move around after this as well. So if you want a session with me, you have to go through my website, albawyman.com. Go to, uh, I'm going to put the, wherever it is, up or down, uh, the page. Uh, that you go to and you sign up for my newsletter. That's the only way you get a session with me. The newsletter comes out about once a month and it goes to a lot of people. And as soon as you see that email, click on the links to the calendars. Those calendars will tell you where, where I have the appointments and uh, you got to be really fast. And, and in just when it is your time, it is your time. Yes, so, right. That's yeah. right. So some people get it really easily. And like you did? Well, I had been trying for a while, um, the year Before. prior, but once I went to the hypnosis course and met you and everything and had my session with Antonio, you didn't need it. I was good. And then yeah. it came up and I said, well, I guess I need to come. <laughs> so, And that's what happens when you kind of detach from the results. Mm -hmm. It happens. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this very brief session. It was, it was not very long, mm -hmm. but uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon, either in a hypnosis session or at a gathering. Thanks for watching. Bye.